So that was my budget version of the deck, and I have a budget version, and it's mainly to uh, give people who don't have modern decks and get, like if we're playing FNM, which we did tonight, if we're playing FNM and they don't have a modern deck, then, you know, hey, you can borrow my modern deck to play me. And that, that's, burn deck is really fun to play against um, for this particular deck because you're a combo deck and you have to maximize your chances of hitting your combo. So let's go over this deck. This is the non-cheap modern deck I own. Uh, two temples, four catacombs, four windswept, a godless shrine, two overgrounds, two gavanies, three thickets, two ghost quarters, two forests, and a plains. So this is a very odd assortment of lands, but according to net decking, this is what the deck should probably run. Next, we're gonna talk about the four cocos. Oh, yeah, four cocos. And Court of Calling, calling so four of those. You have one Murderous Red Cap, so you're running off the Malera combo. I tried to do Phyrexian on life, but that doesn't really work because they can kill the Malera <laughs> or the on life, and you're kind of... So it's not only that they... I, I read it wrong, so that Phyrexian on life means uh, you cannot lose the game due to um, life. So if your life is less than zero, you still don't lose the game, but you get damaged and poison. So malaria doesn't allow you to take damage and poison, which is good. But if they get rid of the unlife with Nehari, for example, you you just lose the game. Four Kitchen Finks, probably one of the best cards. I'm looking for that fourth promo, obviously. Three Eternal Witnesses. Four Voices are very, very good. I love Voice. Uh, voice is definitely one of the cards that keeps you in. It really just tanks your opponent until you can get your combo out. Four Tamagoyce, and this is the win con too. So when I was playing this deck on the original net deck list, I had trouble, at least in my locals, winning if they hate out the combo. And they can hate out the combo with Surgical Extraction, or um, there's other cards that can get rid of your combo piece. And this is just another win con because Tamagoyf is extremely big. And you, if you have the fetch land, then you have your instant, then you have your creature probably. Tamagoyf is so big that he can just win the game himself. And that's an, something that the opponent has to deal with, which is not combo re related. So essentially you're either stalling your opponent with voice or you can go on the offensive with Tamagoyf. So that's why I have him. So this is my package, uh, my combo packs is two Malarias, one Anafenza. I have other cards that I can naturally draw into. Four Nobles, four Birds of Paradise, and one Seer. So the Seer is the least important, and that's probably the easiest card to hit out. I They just hit out this card so easily. Uh, and you know, we then only click, it's like they can do a lot of stuff to you, but then Tamagoy kind of gives you just another way to win with damage. So that's my big innovation, if you will, is I'm playing Tomogorf in the deck. I know it's not really an innovation, but you know, that's, it makes my deck list a little different from other people's, and it does help a ton, at least in my current meta. Uh, for Kotaki's Wars wa ra Wage, uh, uh, very good card. I think it's pr perfect in this deck. It's a lot better than Stony Silence. And I actually, I read it from a commenter on a post. I wish I remembered the name, but I don't, I can't pull it up right now. And he was saying that, yes, you can get it off Coco. Yes, you can get it off the Court of Calling and Response and Return. So it made a lot more sense because it's gonna, it works well with the rest of the deck. Two Spouse Guides, really just to protect your combo and against Infect. Infect, you do have Malera to help you out a little bit. Uh, mage, this card is just so good off, if you hit two of them, that's the dream scenario off uh, Collected Company, it's pretty much GG. Massive land destruction and instant speed is pretty brutal. Uh, two more in case, you know, you lose that one and, goes, and they remove from gra Graveyard. And then you can go up to four Malaria's for po Poison or three Ana Fenza's for Beatdown. So that's what I wanted to say is you can go with the beatdown route because if you change, if you go Ana Fezzers and then Tamagoyfs, you get there and then the voices actually get extremely big, not the voices themselves, but the voice tokens. 
So the deck is pretty efficient. It does a lot in terms of pressuring your opponent from the life standpoint. Uh, it matches up extremely good with Infect uh, just because you have Malera matches up extremely well with Affinity because you have Kataki out from the sideboard and you have ways to draw into them. You have ways to find them and it's unlikely that you go too long without a Malera or a Kataki when you need it against those two decks. It's also very good against control decks because Tamagoyf is Tamagoyf, right? Just uh, when you when you have a 5-6 and turn to, like free attacking your opponent, really difficult for that opponent to try to hate out your combo at that point because they just have to get rid of it. And if they path it, then that's great because you get another land. Uh, you do have Galvany Township, which is another win. So that's you can go down the beat down route and that's perfectly fine with this deck that is a win con but again you can go ahead and you can grab a malera a seer and then a kitchen finks and then you can win from that combo anyway that's it bye guys